Oh, we made it. We made it to this tiny little London hotel room. <laughs> well, the good thing is, it's so close to the oh, so What time is it? It's 5 a.m. China time. 9 p.m. UK time. Oh, I think I'm gonna die. Alright, that's the end of this video. I'm gonna pass out any second. It's 8 a.m. and we are ready to. We're ready to explore London Town. Yeah. Are you ready for love? Yes, I am. Oh, yeah. Are you ready? Are you ready for love? Yes, I am. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're back again filming with the DJI Osmo Pocket. We're in a very tiny ho London hotel because London is very expensive. We're now going to explore London. The main London streets and make sure that we don't get stabbed, shot, or, or mugged. Cause you know London is a real. Let me let me switch uh, switch to uh, another one. You know London. London is a very tough place to be. You've got to be real tough to walk the streets of London. You're in London, mate. Hang on a minute. Are you gonna put that into video? Get the hell out of here. It's not exactly a good weather today. It's not it's pretty it's a pretty nice hotel. It's called City Continental. Um it's in a really good location, Earl's Court, bang in the centre of London. So it's a good place to uh, if you want to travel about. And he's right next to Earl's Court Underground Station. So, yeah, we're 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 out on the main streets of London. Find the gap between the train and the platform. Just heading to the famous blue door out of the uh, from the uh, Notting Hill Notting Hill film with Hugh Grant. Hugh Grant and uh, is it Julia Roberts? Yeah, Julia Roberts. Heck, that dude's like seven foot tall. Seven feet. The weather's not too spectacular today, eh? Yeah? It's typical, typical British weather, huh? That's the famous blue door, but they painted some of it. Oh, that's it. Let's go to the next place then. <laughs> Where should we go now then? Westminster? Big Ben, yeah? <laughs> Alright, so we've just took a little detour through to Baker Street. The home of Sherlock Holmes, yeah. I had the there, so it's that way. 
And there's the man himself. Sherlock Holmes. There's the legend himself. Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes, Hubert Cumberbatch. And not Hubert. <laughs> What's his name? Benedict. Is it Cumberbatch? Yeah, it's Cumberbatch. Benedict Cumberbatch. Why well, he plays Sherlock, yeah. He's not actually the real Sherlock. So this is Baker Street. Two, what is it? Two twenty-five Baker Street. Is that? Two two two. Oh, two, two two two. It's not two two two. The home of Sherlock Holmes, sir. So he lives. He lives there. Not really. I can't remember. Doesn't really exist, but these. I think they just made it because that's where that's where Cumberbatch lived. Yeah. In the series. Sherlock Holmes Museum. Oh, it's two twenty-one there. Yeah. It's a little museum. Wow. Some Chinese <laughs> Sherlock. How do you say Sherlock? So it's quite it's quite lovely in here actually. Oh, it's cold outside. Uh, it's, it's kind of they, they monetize the whole Cumberbatch thing, yeah. But this is was actually his house, wasn't it? No, Sherlock actually lives here, didn't he? I think he lived upstairs. <laughs> Sure. Do you want to do you want to get a souvenir? Then? No. I like the music. Can't believe it. The sun has actually come out. Is it red? The sun has come out, and I can't see a thing. Uh, can you see anything? Oh. I can't even see if it's red or, or green. It's red. <laughs> it's red. And it's really sunny. This is Paddington Station. From, uh, from that movie, Paddington Bear thing. Well, from the book or the whatever. I must say that the London Underground is pretty confusing to try and follow <laughs> compared to like Chinese metro stations. They're much easier to follow. I mean, there's so many different lines and like eastbound, westbound, northbound, Bakerloo, District, Circle Line, all this, like, can they not simplify it? It's just so confusing. You've got eastbound, westbound, northbound, China bound. And just remember the direction. Look at all this westbound, eastbound. How about Westlife? <laughs> it's just like in Shanghai, it's like line one, line two, that's it. Take line one to get here. It connects to line two. Here's like... Take a circle line, straight line, the square line. Triangle line, the triangle westbound line to the northbound circle line. And then switch over to the triangular circle line, westbound, northbound, south. West line. <laughs> so confusing. Oh, on the bridge, on. Oh, is that big? Big Ben's coming in scum. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no. Worst time to come. Big Ben is close, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Bravo, bravo. That's the London Eye. 
What's going on? I always remember the scene from 20, uh, 27 days later and we're standing on the bridge. Let's try and reenact that scene. So here we have the man himself, the man, the myth, the legend, Winston Churchill. Oh, that's uh, Gandhi, eh? What? That's not Abraham Lincoln, what are you talking about? Oh, the one behind? Oh, you think I'm so stupid? You thought that one's Abraham Lincoln. Oh, the one behind it is, yeah. Guess who's this fella then? Gandhi. <laughs> How come one? Uh, Your Gandhi. Not Gandhi. <laughs> How come one of his eyes looks a bit spooky? Ah, uh, he was quite a violent fella, so you better watch out. I thought I was about to say he got a. Ch I was about to say they've got a Chinese fella there. <laughs> <laughs> it's Nelson <That's> Mandela. <laughs> How come he looks Chinese? He does look a bit Chinese there. Nelson Mandela. Look at that fella. He's got a sword. If you try and go in that gate, it's just gonna chop you in half with that sword. There's a big pile of poo there. We're coming to number 10 Downing Street where the Prime Minister lives. Uh, who's the Prime Minister of England then? Theresa May, yeah? Theresa May? Yeah. Uncle. The woman. Theresa May. What do you mean? <laughs> wow. So many police here. How come they get to go in? Wow. So How come it's sun? They've got so much security here. Wow. I see. They've got guns and knives and. Everything. He got scissors. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> and he's got scissors. <laughs> Just in case he needs to do any arts and crafts. <laughs> wow, they've all got cameras on their hats as well. Well, their camera doesn't have a three axis stabilization like mine. <laughs> so that's true. Okay. They, theirs has got a lot of shaky footage, especially on that. On their, it's on their cap, yeah? It's on their hats. Whoa, look here. Hey, this is a good. Yeah, eating. Well, that pigeon's only got one eye. This pigeon's eyes be pecked out. Of a, it's a bit of a rough life as a pigeon, yeah? And probably that crow over there pecked his eye out and ate it. <laughs> What's that building there? That's the palace. That's that's not Buckingham Palace, is it? That is. Oh, it is. <laughs> Alright, so that's Buckingham Palace there. And, um... And this is what... What's that say? Australia. <laughs> this is the gate of Australia, apparently. Even though we're in England. Don't know what's going on. That is the 
uh, golden eagle woman monument. Something's going on over there. Someone's either coming out or going in. <laughs> the queen may be driving out. Someone's definitely coming in. They're holding all the traffic. I wonder who is coming in. Huh? Huh? Who was it? I missed it. It was the Jaguar, someone there. Oh, I got on video anyway, I can go back and see who it was. <laughs> Did they just say it was Charles? Still holding it. Oh, there's another one coming in that side. They're screaming, who's that? Oh, who is it? <laughs> So we just we just finished Nando's and now we are heading to the British Science Museum, yeah? The British Museum. Oh just the British 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 Museum. Give him some there. Yeah? You got any coins? Like <laughs> Alright, so we just arrived at the British British Museum. Um, so let's go in and see what they've got. The good thing about the British Museum is that it's for free as well. <laughs> so everything inside is every single thing that the British Empire stole from countries and they just put it in a museum. Oh oh, someone just dropped the phone and it's cracked. We're in the uh, Egypt section, uh, Egyptian section. Is that a real mummy inside? Is that, is that a real mummy? I think. Real like person inside there. Mm. Turn it up, let it start from clock on Like I may have found an ancient, ancient nobler artifact. This may, the writing, the writing there says this may be what the nobler looks like. No one knows for sure though. <laughs> Samurai armor. 500 year old samurai sword. Whoa. 
Jesus Christ. Complete set of armor. We're leaving uh, London now. Just waiting for the train. We're about to go up north. We're going to the north of England because winter is coming. We're gonna go to my mum and pop's house and we're staying there to celebrate Christmas. So just waiting for the train, so I decided to get a prime burger. Now just look at this thing. It is an absolute monster. It weighs about 10 pounds. on the train now. This is the train. Has the win the windows are mirrors. <laughs> Come on. It's a mirror. Turn it up, let it start from <laughs> Right, we're going in now. We're going up. We're going up the Minster. This is the deep. This is this in the deep deep England. Deep England. <laughs> Deep in the <laughs> Five people, please. Five, yeah? One, two, three, four. Yeah, five. <laughs> oh, is that it? Your ticket's gone now. Right, we're going up. We're going up. Nah. York Minster. No smoking. Any person? What, what if one person like falls down and takes everyone out? Big enough ain't big enough This house ain't built for the two of us Maybe you should take a little peek into the rear view You could probably get a better view of us